Recent surveys indicate that as many as one in five teens suffers from clinical depression. It's been my experience that a combination of depression mixed with problems at home or bullying at school and low self-image can be the reason why a teen displays rebellious and unhealthy attitudes. Add to that that the teen brain hasn't fully developed and is still going through a lot of changes and that their hormones are in fluctuation and you can see how a teen can experience unsettling behavior. By the way, the human brain isn't fully developed till the age of 25. Now that you've heard that, I'm sure that some of your teenager's behavior makes sense to you. Depression is highly treatable, yet most depressed teens never receive treatment. That's because it can be difficult to diagnose in teens, as adults expect teens to act moody and adolescents don't always understand or express their feelings very well. So for example, a teen may experience issues such as bullying for years without saying anything to their parents until the situation becomes dire and the teen feels totally unsafe, scared, and depressed. That can lead to low self-esteem, high levels of anxiety, and hopelessness. A parent seeing these might be puzzled wondering what is going on since their child isn't expressing any problems. Sometimes the signs of depression are also not obvious since not all teenagers appear to be depressed. It's important to distinguish occasional bad moods from depression. It's important that you pay attention to the following symptoms if you persistently notice them in your teen. Loss of interest in activities. They can end up isolating themselves even from the things and people they love. Fatigue or lack of energy. Experiencing high anxiety levels. Difficulty concentrating. Sadness or hopelessness. Irritability, anger, hostility, and reckless behavior. Feeling that there's something wrong with them. Maybe even not taking care of themselves. They might even start harming themselves by doing such things as cutting themselves. You may also find that they frequently cry or that there's this lack of enthusiasm or motivation, that there's changes in eating and sleeping habits, drug and alcohol abuse, smartphone addiction, feelings of worthlessness and guilt, unexplained aches and pains, poor school performance, thoughts of death or suicide, have in mind that these symptoms are likely to get worse and that they won't go away on their own, which is why it's important that you get your teen the help that they need as soon as possible. Don't wait. Well, my friends, I hope that you found this video useful. If that's been the case, then give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more mental health related videos just like this one.